on for the first few minutes till we get some people in. Let's oh, right, right, right. Going. All right. Are we live yet? We are live. Oh, my goodness. Folks, look at this. I'm going to tell you something that you're probably not, uh, probably you've ever, never heard of. All right. We've got some surprises for you today. Okay. Um, how many of you have of a fix and flip? What about a rental? Okay. Have you ever wanted to do more than own a house over the 30 years? Than own one house? You know? I mean, that's all we were taught. That the American dream is for you to have one house in all the 30 years. Uh, 40 years, however long you live. It's just one house. Folks, we don't believe in that. We believe in more than that. All right? More than that. How about 10 houses in 30 years? How about 300 apartments in 10 years? I mean, how about five apartments in three months? <laughs> okay, let's do something better than the generation that was before us. Man, we are so thankful for those that have come into our lives and have taught us, you know, different strategies and whatnot. But man, one thing that maybe they never taught us was how to grow our money. They would say things. You got to put your uh, money into a savings account. You got to put your money into an investment account and, and you got to watch it grow. But what they didn't tell us, they didn't tell us the details. What about the details of that investment? What about the details? Can we go further into that? And they didn't know the answers. And that's okay not to know the answers. But today, we're going to show you some answers. All right, we're going to show you some answers. We're going to show you what it means to grow your wealth, on how to grow your wealth, on an example of how wise guys in ties just grew their wealth, okay, today, okay? And, and these are the things that we want to break down for you, all right? Now, before I bring them up, I want to just introduce Joseph Smith and Ray Fleming. These two are solid proven serial entrepreneurs. These people are real estate investors, and I am so privileged to call them my friends as well. All right, so without further ado, Joseph, I just want you to let the people know what it means, what real wealth means, you know, and we, we are thankful for that. Well, Thank thanks you. for having us yes. again yes. on the CJ Wallace YouTube channel. That's Hello, right. YouTube. Good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Uh, CJ invited us out again last week we had such an amazing presentation where we talked a lot about uh, people who have self-directed IRAs and want to learn how they can invest that in real estate and it was such a big hit that CJ said hey would you come out and just tell it to us again <laughs> so I'm gonna go over a lot of the same information that I went over last week with you but we're gonna take it to a whole nother level and that's that's what we do here, right? So I'm going to show you how we organized everything, just like I did last week. And then we're going to have Ray come up here and really show you how we put the whole uh, system that we use on steroids. All right, we're going to show you how to get a thousand doors that you can own free and clear in the next 10 years. Is there anybody who would be interested in learning how do you do that? Uh, can I also add that we're not using any of our own money or credit when we do this, right? Anybody interested in learning how to do that? All right, well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and show you. Um, one of the things that I'm going to need is probably some of those uh, as an eraser. Right there, yep. Thank you, sir. All right, because you know, there is no spell check on dry erase boards. I've learned that previous YouTube videos. Thank you, YouTube, for pointing that out. <laughs> All right, so here's what we have. There are people out there who have a 401, a 401k. They have an old 401k. They have um, an IRA, right? You're going to find that people who ha are trying to think about retirement, this is what they have. Now, the thing you might be surprised <laughs> to find out is these people can become real estate investors. Yes. How many of you thought, I would love to get into real estate investing, but I just don't have the money? There are so many people who don't understand how retirement accounts work that they literally are sitting on a line. 
That's right. Gold I'm saying mine. a gold mine. Or maybe you don't have this retirement account, but mom does, or your uncle does, or, or your brother. And they're sitting there earning mm-hmm. one, two, three percent on their money in the stock market. And let's talk about the stock market. Has anybody got security with how that is so volatile up and down? Listen, if you know people that would be interested in real, investing in real estate, maybe it's you, or maybe it's other people you know, it's imagine if you could have a conversation with somebody and say, okay, you got to be able to really put yourself out there. You got to ask uncomfortable questions. You got to say stuff like, so. Uh, how much money you uh, got in your retirement account? It's none of my business, but I was just wondering, right? <laughs> you got to be able to have those kind of conversations like, oh, well, okay, that's cool. You know, what kind of return are you making? And what are people going to say? Most are going to say, I don't know, right? They, they don't know. Or they're like, I don't even want to know, right? It's that bad. And then you have a conversation with them like, well, hey, listen, if I could show you a way to invest that same money or a portion of your retirement into real estate where your money is backed and secured by an actual property, what would you be interested in having a conversation with me if I could show you a way to double, maybe even triple what your annual rate of return is? Would you be willing to sit down and have a conversation with me about that? Now, who is going to say, hmm, see, make more money without having to do anything? No, I'm not interested in that conversation. No, people have this conversation with us all the time. Ray and I, just last year in 2018, having that simple conversation with folks, you know, it's none of our business asking people about their retirements and how much they have and what they're making. We were able, in a six-month period of time, to raise over $700,000. So if you could have that conversation with the people you know, think about the wealth that you could tap into. All right, with that said, all we need is to find people who have a 401k, who have an old 401k, or an IRA. Now, why does that matter? Because we ultimately are trying to get all the way over here to an SDIRA LLC. That's the goal. This is where we want to be. You start here right? This is where your money is inefficient for you. It's not doing a whole lot. And over here, this is where you you take control of your own financial future. This is a self-directed IRA LLC. I'm telling you, when you can self-direct your retirement account, there is so much that you can do because you don't have to just invest in the stock market. You can invest in precious metals as as an asset class. You can invest in real estate. Now, here's something that's very important. You must, you must realize that there are prohibited transactions. You could do this the wrong way. And let me tell you, if you make a mistake doing this the wrong way, you lose big. The whole retirement account gets liquidated and, and spent and paid back to the government in penalties and tax. You could still be taxed even on top of that. So you could go into the negative if you do this the wrong way. There's certain things that you can invest in and there's certain things you can't invest in. There's certain people you can invest with and there's certain people you can't. The IRS, they love to make rules. And you know what, these rules, they change all the time. You've got to stay on top of this. Which is why I highly recommend that you use professionals. My big disclaimer, I say this all the time on this YouTube channel. We are going to show you strategies, principles that are general in nature. They're not meant for you to specifically go out and say, well, hey, Joseph just told me this. No, it is up to you to do your own due diligence to seek out professionals in your jurisdiction, right? Because what we do in Arizona is somewhat different than they do in California. And it's different than how they do it in New York, right? So you've got to seek the professionals To make the strategy is sound, it can be done, but how it's executed is slightly different depending on what the laws are in your state, right? So you need to talk to an attorney, you need to talk to a CPA, right? A certified public accountant. I know it costs money, but let me tell you, would you rather spend 500, 600 bucks 
for an hour consulting with one of these professionals to save you thousands, tens of thousands, if not millions in litigation and liability, it's worth it, okay? So that's my disclaimer. I'm gonna show you a strategy here, but there's so much to it. And if you do this the wrong way, it could hurt you, it could hurt you big. So you need to have the professionals. And if you don't know who the professionals are and the professionals in your area, well, contact me, contact CJ Wallace. We can hook you up with the people who know how to do this, the best of the best. The people that Congress calls when the IRS makes a rule change and consults with. We can help hook you up with the attorneys like that. Might cost a lot of money, but I'm telling you it's worth it if you're saving yourself in the future. So. Here's the general principle of how this is done. With a 401k, you can borrow half of your active, we're talking about an actively <coughs> contributing 401k. You can borrow half up to $50,000. So if you've got a 401k right now, let's say you've got $200,000 in your 401k. That's great. You could borrow up to $50,000 of that. Now, you have to pay that back, and there's an interest rate, but who, who are you paying? Who do you pay back? Who makes the interest when you borrow against your 401k? Anybody on the YouTube channel know? Who, 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 who are you paying that interest to? Who are you paying that interest to? That's a good question. <laughs> Anybody coming up with the answer? Let's see here. Is it yourself? Come on, YouTube. I know we got a lot of smart people on this line. Yourself! Perfect. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, we cost you interest. It's going to be probably a quarter percent over prime, and that, you know, that'll be deducted. So how do you do this? You go to your HR department, or if where you work doesn't have an HR department, you go to the boss, right? And you tell them what you want to do. You tell them that you want to borrow against your... 401k. There's certain kind of specific paperwork that you fill out. This whole process can be completed in a week or less. All right. Then you get access to the funds, but then you have to pay it back. And how do you pay it back? Well, the amount that you owe your interest payments are going to be paid back in every paycheck. So that'll be another line item deduction in your paycheck. But you get access to fifty thousand dollars. Now. If you, let's say you only have $20,000 in your account. That's okay. That means you can take $10,000 and immediately put it to work. So where do we go from here? All of these strategies require a rollover. Rollover. We're going to roll over into an IRA. Then we need to use a TPC, which then converts it into an SDIRA. Well, it's an alphabet soup up there, right? TPC, that's a third party custodian. So right now, when you have your 401k or your IRA, it's already being managed, right? That your company might go through the Prudential, it might go through Merrill Lynch, or there's a whole number of uh, brokers that'll manage these accounts for you. But when you are going to self-direct this, you need to have a third party custodian who's making sure that you're dotting all your I's and crossing your T's. If you're not following the rules, this is where we find out, right? These guys, you're specifically hiring them to make sure that you have followed all the rules, that you're not doing anything wrong. Now, they'll help you convert your money into a self-directed IRA, but you at that point need to know how to invest. Now you can just keep the third party custodian on board at that point, but then you have to run Every transaction by them, they'll check it against uh, the rules committee and all that. It takes time, right? Let's say you have a deal and it, we're ready to close right now. Well, if you just leave it in the self-directed IRA phase, you have to submit it to the TPC. They might get back to you within a week, two weeks. The deal you were trying to bid on is gone by then. So you need to take it one step for, further and have your SD IRA own its own LLC, all right? Imagine that. So now you can transfer the money into the LLC that you own, you have checkbook control. That's the key. Now you can write the checks, but you still have to follow all the rules, 
okay? But now you just have checkbook control. So with an old 401k, over here we start to the rollover to an IRA, and then we take that to the TPC, to eventually the SD IRA, IRA, right? To eventually put that all in an LLC. And then if we haven't made it clear, IRA to the TPC, right? To an SD IRA, right? To the LLC. So if you have an old 401k, it's just sitting out there, it's not even making any money. So we've got to turn it into a 401k. So this is the rollover, right? This is the rollover. All right, so we've converted it into an IRA. Then from there, third party custodian. Third party custodian, then from there. Self-directed IRA. And then once you have a self-directed IRA, what do we do? Ooh, get that LLC. Right, get that okay. LLC. Once you have that, once you, whether you have this or somebody you know is in this space and they have a self-directed IRA that has an LLC and they can put their money in there, now that person is ready to have a checkbook and write a check to purchase properties. How cool is that? Perfect. Now, that's we covered all of that last week. This is good stuff, okay? You've got to know this as a, a baseline for what I'm going to talk about because we're talking about how to get a thousand doors free and clear that you own in the next 10 years without using any of your own money. But let me ask you something. Goodness, that's exciting. Does it take money to do real estate? Yep. Does it have to be your money? <laughs> nope. This is how we raise money. So, <clears throat> I have a company, my business partner. So, here I am. I have my own little company, right? It's an S Corp. And then I've got my business partner, Ray Fleming. He's got his S Corp. And together, we formed Wise Guys in Ties, right? Boom. That's a company, it's an LLC partnership. Now, we talked about self-directed IRAs, right? So let's write that down. Self-directed IRA, right? LLCs. Now we have helped a number of people do this with their money. So I'm not going to give out their names, but I'll just put, so we got one guy's name's K, we got another J. Actually we have two J's. That's pretty exciting. And we have a guy, P and we have a, an M, right, and a G. Man, I'm getting probably below where the camera can see now. All right, what am I showing you here? All of these, this is an S Corp. Everything in a box is its own entity, right? We're not dealing with people individually. Like, I am Joe Smith investing with CJ Wallace. No, I would be, if I'm investing with CJ Wallace, I'd be wise guys and ties. Investing with C. C. Wallace LLC. LLC. Yes. That's what I mean. So it's an entity, right? Why an entity? It's called the corporate veil. It's a layer of protection. Asset protection. Right. That's right. Limited liability protection, yes. which is what you want. Because, okay, first of all, there's a lot of rules to follow when you're investing with self-directed IRA funds. You have to protect people's money. Think about it. What is somebody's retirement but the nest egg that they plan to live on when they're done working? Or maybe it's little Johnny's future college fund. This, this, these funds that we deal with are people's very livelihood. It's the wealth that they have created within their life. We have to protect it. We have to take it seriously. right? It's the golden egg. And so how do we do that? We create layers of protection. Everything that I'm showing you is a strategy on how to use people's retirement money to invest in real estate, but to use it responsibly, to use it where you're protecting them every step of the way. Ray likes to think, you know, we put so many different layers of protection in this, I don't even see how our investors can lose money. I mean, real estate investing is risky, okay? So 
there is always the chance that that can happen. But if you do it the right way and you take the time to set this up the right way, you can mitigate a lot of the risk. Now, we're going to show you this and you're going to see the stuff that I put here on the board and you're going to be like, that's complicated. I don't know. You could go be a cowboy, go out there and just shoot from the hip and figure it out as you go. But let me tell you, that's a very costly education. Everybody gets educated, right, when it comes to real estate. Some people pay for it, and some people really pay for it, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so I'm going to show you a way that you just pay for it, right? If you go out and do this on your own, and you're just going to figure it out as you go, use uh, Google as your guide, <laughs> I'm telling you, that could be very expensive. It sounds like it's cheap, but until you make a mistake, and then you find out how expensive it really is. All right, so here are all these starting businesses. Here I am with my business partner, and we have our joint business, and we want to go out and we want to do some real estate. We want to own a 1,000 doors free and clear in the next 10 years. But how do we do that? Because we're not interested in using any of our own money because, well, Ray and I, Ray and I we like to you know, keep our money and spend it on our family. So what can we do? Well, we need to find a way to bring all of this self-directed IRA money together so that we can help people and grow their retirement accounts, while at the same time, Ray and I can use that to make some more money. So we're going to have to create a completely brand new business. All right, here we go. We'll call this, like, New Co. All right, this is your new company. And you're going to have... It's going to be 50%, right? So you're going to have 50% ownership up here, and you're going to have 50% ownership down here. So Wise Guys and Ties is going to own New Co. 50%. Now, here's what's here, here's what, something I want you to see. All of these investors are going to put in their money. Now, it's very easy to do because, remember, we've already talked about how they self-directed these IRAs. They had their own LLC. When, the LLC. when they had the LLC, they went and put a, a corporate bank account attached to it. Then they took the money out of retirement, transferred it into the LLC, which is owned by the self-directed IRA uh, account, thus giving them checkbook control. So when we form our new business... And it buys its own, uh, not buys, but it, it opens up its own corporate account. We now have a place to put those funds. So all of these folks come in down here for the money. They're 50% on the money. And Wise Guys and Ties comes in 50% on the services. Now, I'm showing you an example of one business that we set up just last year. You know, it actually only took us 30 days to put all of this together. So I'm telling you, once you, I mean, it doesn't take 30 days to roll everything over and to get the self-directed IRA and then to get this LLC set up. I'm saying, once you find or you've helped people get to that point and they've got the checkbook, once they've got the checkbook, you can put all of this together in 30 days. That's how, how long it took us. It might take you more in your jurisdiction. But we were able to raise $400,000. $400,000. In or in just a little over, it's 406,000. But we raised that in 30 days. That's all of this money coming in here. So while they're offering $400,000 of money, we're coming in over here. So this was money, right? So we'll put 400K up here. We're providing 400K worth of services. We need to match them. So, services, what are you talking about? We're the managers. We're going to do everything. We're going to find the deal. We're going to negotiate the deal. We're going to put it under contract. We're then going to hire all of the contractors to make sure they do the work, that it gets up and running. Carpet, tile, kitchen, appliances, whatever needs done, it's ready to go. Then we've got to go find tenants. and we got to then put them in there. So we've got to be the property management. So we got to market. we got to find those folks. We're going to take care of all of that. The money people, what do they do? We meet once a month. They're on a conference call, and they're like, Yep, sounds good <laughs> for about an hour. That's all they do. They just get an update. We do all the service. So we're going to put in of our own blood, sweat, and tears $400,000 worth of services, which will entitle us to 50% of the profits. So, wise guys and ties, we come in. 
uh, all of our self-directed IRA money, we come in and we formed a new co, right? New co, don't forget to put LLC. Now right off the bat, we've got to do a couple of things, right? We have got to put some things in place. So actually let me change the color here because this is important. The color green means you're making money. We are going to immediately start establishing business credit. There we go. Oh my goodness. Brian? You guys have heard me. If you've been on this channel for any period of time, you've heard me talk about business credit. I love business credit. We do business credit every day. This Constantly. is a great way to help. What we do is we help businesses get $50,000 in lines of credit for their business in 6 to 12 months. If you know what you're doing and you're on top of it, right, you're really putting the work in, it can get done in six months. Awesome. If you got things that come up and this is a side business, it's kind of maybe it's a hobby that you want it to be more of a business and you take your time or, or maybe there's some setbacks, right? It could take a little longer, it could take 12 months. Well, folks already have testimonies. That's right. I'm telling you, this is good stuff. So once we get business credit, we're attaching 50K worth of credit to the business. Now, let me tell you why that's important. Because what are we trying to do here? We're trying to protect this money over here. All of this IRA money, it's got to be protected. So we've put, so right now it's in an LLC. There's a layer of protection. Then we're putting it all into another half of an LLC. So here's another layer of protection. Now we're putting on business credit. When you take out debt or you have some kind of line of credit against the company, if somebody were to sue and go after you, they have to pay that off. Then they have to fight in court to beat the corporate veil. Then they have to fight again to beat the corporate veil over here around the SDRA. So again, somebody's going to have to spend a lot of money to go after this retirement money. So the more obstacles we can put in the way, the more protected the money is because Let's face it, we're a very litigious society. People will sue over anything. But we're also smart. People who are sue happy go after low hanging fruit. When you lock up everything and you're putting so many layers of protection around you, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like when, you, when you're out, if you've ever been out in the woods and you see a porcupine and those spikes go up, right? Picture's way of saying don't touch. Right? Well, when we start putting all these layers of protection here, that's the corporate world's way of saying, oh, don't touch. <laughs> right? That's what we're trying to do. So, what do we do from here? So, we've raised the money, we've built the business credit, but we're not done. We've got to put some more stuff in here. We've got to put in some, some insurance, right? Mm -hmm. Insurance. Yeah, now, we're doing, we're doing life, we're doing uh, regular... Uh, you know, general liability, and we're also going to do, you know, an umbrella, an umbrella policy. Insurance, it costs money. It does. So we're taking, so we really want to use 400000 but we raised four hundred and six. That $6,000 goes into getting the business credit. It goes into getting the insurance because this stuff costs money. But boy, is it good because when you get, when you take, the managers, which is what we are, we're the managers here, the service people, and you put a life insurance policy on me, you put a life insurance policy on Ray, to the tune of $500,000 worth of coverage, that means if we ever get sued, now they have to go through the insurance policy, then they have to pay off the debt, then they have to get past the corporate veil, and then they have to get past this corporate veil, so see, insurance is a whole other layer, but that's just the life insurance. General liability, another layer of, li of insurance. And then an umbrella, which is an over coverage. It's like, you know, going into battle and I've got a shield and then let me put another shield on top of that and then another shield and then a deflector shield and then a laser array, <laughs> you know? I mean, we're just trying to <laughs> overfill this with as much, we wanna over protect it. Well, I'd rather err on the side of over protection because if I've over protected it and something goes wrong, Imagine, does anything ever go wrong? <laughs> Things go wrong all the time, but when something goes wrong, you go, wait a minute, do we have the homeowner's insurance policy? Yeah. Do we have general liability? Yeah. Do we have the umbrella? Yeah. Oh, that's not a big deal. Okay, cool. 
<laughs> you know, you want that. You don't want to be caught. What went wrong? Oh, I, I didn't pay for all that insurance. I thought it was too much. But now we're going to court and they're suing us for half a million. You know, maybe I should have paid that $2,000 policy. <laughs> Actually, that sounds like a good idea now, right? So I'm telling you, it seems like a lot when you're paying a couple thousand dollars for insurance. You're like, what? But when you realize in the world of real estate, the people who can sue you for half a million, a million, five million, putting that little bit of money into it, <laughs> that's, all, that's, that's what makes it worth it. That's why we have insurance. Okay, so we've got our insurance now. Great, so we got this whole company set up, but we're not doing anything right now other than spending money. It seems like we're spending money on business credit, we're spending money on life insurance, general liability, umbrella policy. When are, when are we going to start making money? Okay. Well, you stick with me, folks, because here's what we do. We are going to go and we're going to start two new sub-businesses. Wait a minute, you just set up a business. You're going to set up one? Yes. It's another layer of protection. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to go up here. So this is going to be New Co. A, right? <laughs> LLC. And we'll go ahead and put that in its own little business. And we're going to go over here and go New Co. Uh, B, right? <laughs> and we put that in its own LLC, right? right? In this example, everything in a box represents a business entity. But we're, we're not just doing businesses because, hey, that's more money. That costs more money. What are you doing? All right, well, here's what we're going to do is we're going to go purchase up here a triplex. Actually, let me, let me put some color on the board. She wants that book. Right? She wants that book. Which book? All right. Yeah. Linda, which book? Linda, which book? Which book are you talking about? Try four. You know, in this case, this is really great. We got a triplex. This is awesome. For two hundred and twenty thousand, but it's <laughs> worth. It was worth three hundred thousand. So we purchased it. This is why our investors worked with us. Because see, we're educated. We're able to do a comparative market analysis. We're able to see. What, what the current value of things are at. We're able to look at what the uh, pro forma is. We're able to look at the cap rate. We're able to see what it is, that how this pro property is performing, what its true value is. And then we're able to negotiate with a homeowner and find out what their needs are. Yeah, everybody wants to get the highest price, but when you take the time to build a relationship and you find out what they really need and you put your offer to them in terms of meeting their need, or exceeding their need, even though there's a whole bunch of other offers that come in, and they might even sometimes be offering a little bit more than you, but because you spent the time to get to know them and truly know what their need is, they're gonna go with you because they know you, they like you, mm -hmm. they trust you. So we're able to get a triplex for $220,000, instantly $80,000 of equity. Okay, down here, we're gonna buy a new Kobe, a duplex. Man, I wish we had CJ next uh, dry race board. Can we get a? Um, can you get a spell checker? Spell checker? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Check. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a duplex here for a hundred and sixty thousand dollars. Now the great thing is on this one, it was worth two hundred thousand dollars. So here we have. A triplex that's worth three hundred thousand, and a duplex that's worth two hundred thousand, and so that's already five hundred thousand dollars, and we've raised four hundred, so we're able to purchase these beautifully. We're able to take care of that. So not only did we just purchase a duplex and a triplex, but they already have tenants in them, so we're cash flowing on day one. This is important. Now, not only that, but we are buying these free and clear. We raised all of this capital, and now we're purchasing it. So there's no debt. We're not leveraging anything. We don't have mortgage payments to pay. And they have tenants in there. Boom, cash flowing. Anytime you can come to the table with an all-cash offer, you're beating like 80% of the other people in the room. How many wholesalers are out there who make all these offers, and then they have to go run and try and find you know, a lender or something? 
in this model, we raise the funds, and now we can go make cash offers. Let me tell you something. If you raised $400,000 in the next 30 days, would you have some confidence that you could go out and do some real estate, make an offer, beat out whatever other potential offers are there, if the deal is right, if the numbers work? Absolutely. Every day of the week and twice on Sunday. So, here we go. You've got, we've got these new businesses, we've got ourselves a duplex and triplex, but it comes with some, you know, cost, right? Well, first of all, what are we going to do with each one? Each one, we're going to put business credit on there. That's right. Each one gets business credit. Business credit. Why is that so important? Each one gets business credit. Wow, business credit. If you're not building business credit, let me just tell you flat out, you're leaving money on the table. Yeah. You're basically saying, I know that it takes money to do real estate, but I want to try and figure out how to, how to do it the hard way, right? Business credit's like, how do we make it easier for you? If you had $50,000, could you use that on a rehab? Could that pay the cost? What can you buy on a credit card these days? Ooh, what can't you buy on a credit card these That's days? the better question. <laughs> what can't you buy? So with business credit, think about this too. What's the number one reason why people are a little bit hesitant to get into rental property? Let's go ahead and list them out. What are, what are the reasons? They don't have any money. Well, they don't have any money, but think about it. Let's say you have the money. There's still headaches that people don't want to deal with when it oh, comes to rentals. Oh, toilets. Toilets. Tenants. Tenants. Termites. Termites. Taxes. Taxes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Who wants that call at 2 a.m. in the morning? The toilet's leaking. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you want that? No, of course mm -hmm. not. Or you get the call. Uh, you're, you're collecting rent. Maybe you're charging $1,000 a month in rent. And then all of a sudden, oh, hey, the uh, water heater went out and it flooded. So we've got flood damage we've got to repair and we've got to replace the water heater and you find you've got an $8,000 bill. Oh, did you budget for an $8,000 repair? Well, you better if you're the landlord because it's your job to fix it. Now, if we have $50,000 of business credit attached to the LLC, where, I wonder, could we come up with the funds to pay for an AC that goes out, a roof that leaks that needs repaired, a hot water heater that needs replaced, a furnace that needs replaced, where are we going to find that money? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I know. Why don't we put it on the credit card? Oh. So then I take the eight, I take this eight thousand dollar expense, put it on there, and now I've got to pay what eighty bucks? I got to pay eighty bucks a month. Now I've got a triplex here. I got three doors. Can I find the eighty bucks out of the cash flow? Sure. <laughs> I mean, first of all, in this scenario, I don't have a mortgage. I'm not paying principal, I'm not paying interest. We will be paying taxes and insurance for sure. Oh, by the way, that's another thing down here that we gotta pay. You always gotta pay tax. Don't forget those taxes, folks. Taxes, taxes. Absolutely. Taxes. So we set money aside for that. And don't forget. So business credit, and we are going to pay for insurance on the uh, property, it's gotta be insured. We're gonna encourage all of our tenants to get renter's insurance. That's just gonna help them out. Right, and then uh, what, what else we're gonna pay for? We're gonna pay for insurance, we're gonna pay for taxes, we're gonna pay for maintenance. Right? These are all things that have to be paid for. All of them. And so it's like, well, well, are we gonna make any money? Uh, of course we are, of course we are. Remember, we run the numbers. We, we're not just figuring this out as we go. We've already looked at all of the numbers before we even purchased, right? This is cash flowing on day one. So. After we pay for business credit, after we've paid for the insurance, and that's why we also have an umbrella because the umbrella covers additional insurance over whatever is not covered on the regular insurance, right? Taxes, we've got to set money aside for taxes and maintenance and upkeep. You got to have all of that. But then, after all that's paid, after all of the expenses are paid, you we have. In this case, this is what's great. We have $1,667 
$1,667 that's going back to New Co LLC. Now, what is that called? When that, the money that you have left over after all expenses have been paid is called your what? What is that called, folks? Come on, I this know. is the C.J. Walsh YouTube channel. I know. <laughs> he better be telling you and training you about this because this is like the goal that we're all trying to reach. Look at Taylor. Hey, cash flow. That's, That's what it's right. called. That's right. Good That's job, right. Taylor. This is your cash flow. Perfect. Yeah. See, cash it. isn't king. Cash flow is king. Remember that. Can I get a name in? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> all right. So after all expenses have been paid, right, out of the monthly rent that we're collecting, the leftover comes in to New Co LLC. Now, here's what's great about this is the same thing's going on over here. So after all expenses have been paid, we're on the duplex, we're making $1,172 a month in cash flow. Now, watch this. Once all that money comes in, we go through a 50-50 split here. So the money comes out and then psh, down here, psh, up here. So what's that uh, come out to? $1,419. Up here for these guys, that's us, the wise guys. And then again, another $1,419 split out to the investors based off of the percentage that they came in at. Not bad. This is what we call, we have a technical definition for this, return of capital, capital through, what? What was that called again? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cash flow. <laughs> Cash, cash return, return of capital through cash flow. Okay, when you're dealing with somebody's retirement account, it's an investment. They're investing in you. Believe it or not, there's laws in place where you have to say, how does the investor get the return of their capital back? So you have to show that. So in this model, we are going to have return of capital within five years. What? You mean we raised $400,000, we put it into these properties, these projects, and in five years, that's going to pay out? Wait a minute. At the rate of $1,419, that's not going to work. We're definitely going to need to up that cash flow. In a moment, I'm going to bring Ray up here, and he's going to blow your mind with how this explodes. <laughs> we start out a little slow, but... Also, think about how we did this. We're doing this with no money out of pocket. We're not even using our own credit. We're raising, we're using, I mean, basically, what is another name for SDIRA LLC? I can shorten the acronym down to this. O-P-M. <laughs> All right? I'm showing you how to use other people's money and have them thank you for it. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Please use my money. Here, take it. Take, you want more? Yes. Here, I got some over here in this bag. Yes. Right? Because yes. What, what are these people doing? That doesn't look like they're making that much. Hold on. We're going to get there. This is going to blow your mind. Okay. Right now, we've got a pretty good, this is pretty decent right now, uh, in terms of, if let's say you're wise guys and ties. Not bad, not bad at all, right? Got yourself a triplex. Got yourself a duplex. Right. Oh, let's not forget down here on the duplex, we're, you know, we're paying for the insurance and the taxes and the maintenance, right? Got to keep track of all these things. These, right? But you know what? Speaking about taxes, hmm. you got to pay those things. You know, duplexes, it costs a lot of money in taxes. And would you believe that triplexes cost even more in taxes? What do we do? How do we offset all this cost? Because... Who wants to make all this money and then turn around and say, oh, here you go, Uncle Sam. <laughs> there is some really special things that we do with taxes. Cost segregation is a phenomenal way to accelerate the way in which you take depreciation. You can depreciate the garage. You can depreciate the shed. You can depreciate the carport. Right? You can take pieces of the property, depreciate it if it has value. Now... That's just one strategy, but typically setting up your business. Remember we talked about, man, this insurance is so expensive, and that insurance, and this insurance, and business credit. It costs money to, 
Man, I have to, you're saying it cost me $3,000 to get 50? Yeah. Because if I do the math, hold on, hold on, okay. Carry the one. Yeah, that's a good investment. If I put 3,000 in and then six months later I get 50,000 back, I'd do that investment every day. But that $3,000 that I put in, it's not like I really paid it because I'm gonna save that money in taxes. It's gonna be a straight write-off. The money I put into the insurance, I'm gonna get that back through tax write-offs. I'm gonna claim the depreciation of the property. I'm gonna claim that. The initial purchase of the property, I'm gonna claim that. Claim it. Right? Any repairs that are done, we're going the, the uh, maintenance, the money that we set aside for maintenance, we're going to use that money, and then we're going to get that money back. It's all going to flow to the bottom line. Mm -hmm. But if you don't know how to take advantage of taxes and tax write offs see, as a business owner and real estate investor, we know how to take advantage of these. Mm -hmm. now, I'll let Ray talk about exactly how we do that, but, I mean, you've got to have a plan, Right? We're not just spending all this money willy-nilly. We have a very specific plan on how we spend the money because when it comes tax time, because, oh, tax time's upon us, isn't it? And some of us are scrambling, oh, what are we going to do? Oh, no. We were already working on taxes at the point when we purchased it because we already had our business model and our plan in place. So when it comes time for taxes, we're already set and we already know what we're doing. Okay. So this is how we've got this set up. This is, this is a great model. This is a good start. But you know what? This is only five doors. Didn't, CJ, didn't you say we were going to tell them how to get a thousand doors? One thousand doors. Well, That's see. right. If I count, if I do my math right here, one, two, three in a, in a triplex, <laughs> and then four, five in the duplex, that's only five. That's right. So how do we go beyond that? Well, well, I know. Let's go ask our investors for more money. There you go. They Don't investors love it when you come to them for more money? <laughs> no. No, they don't. This is a self-sustaining business model. Oh, you want to know something? Sustainability, that is a, like a, a key word. Like if you're pitching something to an investor, if you can work a way to use the word sustainability into the pitch, they love that. They, they just see that. That's like chocolate to an investor. Oh, here, this is sustainable. This is sustainable. <laughs> You've got to have the numbers to back it up, but they love that. Okay, so my investors are like, great. So I just make this initial investment, and we're going to be able to go out and get more properties? Yes, we are. Let me show you how we do that. So how do we do that? we got to go find a property. Let's say we got to start another business. Over here, we're going to start... New Co, uh, let's call this one C, you know, A, B, C. There you go. This is New Co LLC. Yeah, that makes sense. And now we're going to buy, let's, how about a 12 unit uh, apartment complex? You might as well. Might as well. Yeah, how's that sound? Now, they can go for all different values, but let's say for argument's sake, this one is worth one million dollars right <laughs> one million dollars how do you buy a million dollar 12 flex in 12 easy steps no <laughs> here we go here's what we're gonna do we've already set this all up so here's what we do there's a lot of ways to get real estate a lot of creative ways to get real estate where you don't even have to put any money out of pocket there's a subject to a contract for deed there's all kinds of strategies, such as um, a mortgage carryback, a wrap. If you can find somebody who's willing to sell or finance carry back the mortgage, right, which is one of the things that we would offer, we would come into this, let's there say... There you go. Cash let's say, flow. Let's say we need to come up with, at least, to, to, to make a legitimate offer, $250,000. Well, wait a minute. We own a triplex that's worth 300, and we have a duplex that's worth 200. So all we need to do is get what's called here. Watch this. Wait a minute. Let me use a different pen. We're going to get here's a here's a key word that you need to memorize. A non-recourse. C o u r s e. Collateral. Loan. 
non-recourse collateral loan. Okay. That's like the, the phrase of the day, right? Every time we say non-recourse collateral loan, you go, woo! <laughs> no. Anybody remember PB's play? Yes. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little bit uh, dating myself there. Okay. So non-recourse collateral loans. This is awesome. Think of what a HELOC is, a home equity line of credit. If you're a homeowner, that's what you use to get money out of the equity that you have in your property. Well, a business can't get a HELOC, but a business can get something similar, such as a non-recourse collateral loan. Now there's loans, there's lines of credit as well. You can typically get more money in the loan. We might be able to get anywhere from 70% up to 90% of the equity in this. First time out of the box, you know, they're going to take a risk on you. They might only give you 70%. And it also is going to determine how the economy is doing in the market will determine the liquidity of the lenders and how much risk they're going to take. But we might have to get, we might have to do both of them. We might have to come down here and do a non-recourse collateral loan on the duplex as well. But between this one and this one, so we're going to come here and here. Between these two properties that we own free and clear, we're going to come up with the down payment. All right. Now, if somebody's willing to carry it back, beautiful. Perfect. And we can work out a seller finance note. That's right. We love seller finance notes, but not everybody's willing to do that, especially when an economy as strong as this is. Who wants to carry back a note when I can just wait for a buyer who can qualify? But if you're in a market that's a little unstable or it's going down and people aren't qualifying, people will take the finance note offers all day long as long as they get their price. So, what do we do for the rest of it? Let's say, uh, well, that's great, but you said this is a million dollar prop property. Where's the other $750,000 come in? Because the seller's got to get paid. The seller's demanding his one million. Okay, we can do that too. But we're going to have to come over here and get a non-recourse. Non-recourse. Now, this is different here. It's, it's going to say the same. Uh, it's not a collateral loan because there's no collateral that that the uh, new co is giving up but we're getting a non-recourse commercial loan all right the non-recourse commercial loan is for the remaining seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars well how do you just get a non-recourse uh commercial loan well there's a couple of things first of all let's go back to why are these non-recourse i keep saying non-recourse non-recourse what does that even mean does anybody like wonder, you keep saying non-recourse, what's that? Non-recourse means that they cannot go for anything more than what the loan is worth. So let's say I'm borrowing out of this one $100,000. And I am putting up as the collateral my triplex. Here's the deal. Once they get their $100,000 back, that's it. They can, they can force me if I put a lien against the triplex to sell the triplex to pay them off, but that's it. They can't go for, let's say Nuco LLC owns another property, another duplex or triplex, or let's say they want to try and go after Nuco over here, right? Because this is Nuco A, right? They want to try and maybe get over into Nuco B or Nuco C. No, non-recourse means you can only get your money back from whatever was used to collateralize the loan. There's no other recourse that they can go after. Nice. So Nuco B is get, is putting up the duplex, maybe for another you know 150, or maybe this was 150 and this was 100. It, it it doesn't matter, but as long as you come up with your 250, right? So you put that money in there, and then. Uh, it, so again, you're using, but we own these free and clear. We own the triplex and the duplex free and clear, so we can put all of that collateral up. And there's nobody else in first position, so the lenders will do a non-recourse loan because they know they're in first position, right? Similar to some of the different types of HELOCs, there are people that will offer you HELOCs on your home, and they'll be willing to give you some, you know, good terms or some good money, provided that they get put in first position. 
CJ's got a great training on that where he talks about uh, home equity line of credit. You had more uh, questions about HELOCs, talk to CJ. Yes. But this is how, now if we can just use a non-recourse collateral loan and do, like I said, some kind of carry back or a wrap or uh, some kind of contract for deed, that's some good stuff. Then we're working with some seller financing. But if the seller's like, no, I need all my payment up front, then we're setting all of this up. Now we're only doing all of these loans provided that the numbers work. We've already checked the cap rate and the pro forma. We're looking at everything and we see that it's already have te it already has tenants. It's already cash flowing. And so, but like, like everything else, we have to get, we have to get what? We've, we've done it on every one here. We've got to get business credit, right? And we got to get insurance. That's right. And we're setting aside money for taxes. And we're setting aside money for the maintenance. As well as, on this one, we've got all the, the debt repayment. Right? We got to we got to do all of that. Everybody's got to get paid. So, here's what's great about this. Speaking of getting paid, I was just going to when is the correct time to let the people know the big surprise of what happened today? Um, with you. You mean the fact that it's my birthday today? Yeah. <laughs> And I got a really big surprise <laughs> present. On your birthday. My business partner calls me up on my birthday and he offers me the best birthday present I ever had. Hey, we're closing today on our fix and flip. <laughs> and we just made $21,000. <laughs> my business partner gives the best birthday presents. <laughs> love that guy. Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is a really exciting day for us because we always love to put a big chunk of money in our pocket, especially because... And our fix and flip model, which we can talk about another day. But guess what? We did the same kind of thing. So it's none of our own money. Yeah. So, yeah, it's always great to put more money in your pocket. Yes. You know, my wife finds me more attractive on days that I've made $21,000. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I mean, I, I look like I'm this fat, overweight guy with, you know, this big beard. But when I come home with $20,000 in the bank account... There's just something about, oh, honey, mm, mm. and she just loves me. I just, I don't know. I don't know how, to, if you're having any marital problems at all, I recommend fix and flipping houses, and then all of a sudden, whether it's a man or a woman, your spouse will love, love you. you. <laughs> okay. Awesome. All right. So here's what happened. Here's what we do. The rent that's coming in off of the 12-unit apartment complex pays the non-recourse collateral loan here, pays... You know, we're, pay we're making the monthly payments on this. And we're also paying the non-recourse commercial loan. And then everything left over, if there is anything left over, you know, the cash flow goes back to the Thousand Doors project. Now, we don't have to necessarily have any cash flow right at the start. As long as enough money is coming in to service, uh, to, to basically take care of all the payments, uh, on the loans, as well as take care of building business credit, insurance, taxes, and maintenance, we're good because the rest of it will take care of itself over time. Now, I dropped my cap somewhere. Oh, there it is. Can you get that for me? All right. Thank you, sir. All right. So, YouTube, this is exciting stuff. Yes. But we just really began to just get started because now we have debt. It was great when we started with no debt, but now we have debt. And these loans, they could be for like 15, 20, 30 years. Well, wait a minute. Didn't I say that we were going to get a thousand doors free and clear in 10 years? How could we possibly do that if we have all this debt to pay? Mm, mm, oh, mm. wait a minute. CJ. Va, 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 va. Have you ever heard of velocity banking? Have I heard of it? <laughs> I believe in it. <laughs> I do it. So wait a minute, we're getting lines of credit through the business credit. We have cash flow coming in through, through the rent that's coming in. Yes. And then we're able to take the, we're able to pay all of these loans through the business credit, grow the business credit at the same time, while also transferring all that amortized interest 
and the simple interest pain these properties off in one third of the time. But because we're also dealing with that's so beautiful. Because you know we're not if we're buying this building for one million dollars, I'm going to tell you, it's because it's worth one point two, right? If we're spending one point two million, it's because we know it's worth one point five, right? So there's already some equity built in, and it's already cash flowing. Those are the type of deals that we look for. Now, mm. this all sounds all well and good, but what happens if the economy goes sideways? Or what if the economy goes, mmm, that could happen. But let me ask you something. Last time the housing market took a, a big dump, uh, did people stop renting houses? <laughs> no, they still had it to live someplace. In fact, more people rented. Now. Wow. If you're building your business credit and you have cash flow and you have collateral, right, and you have business credit, these are the few people when an economy goes south like that that still have access to the liquidity of the lenders. So in a down economy, people are still renting. You have assets. You have cash flow. You have credit. You can get access to money to buy properties when, I mean, it's, it's sad when, when the housing market takes a dive, but not for us. <laughs> That's when everything goes on sale, right? <laughs> That's when you get a million dollar, you know, complex for the day's sale price of $500,000, right? <laughs> this is when, as a real estate investor, you want to position yourself so that you're sitting on $400,000. Now, Ray and I have set a few of these up, so we have another one with $300,000. We're in the process of putting a few others together that have half a million. <laughs> so when the time comes and you need that liquidity, you might not have it on your own. Any one of these individuals on their own couldn't do this. But when they come together and you partner with people who know what they're doing, they're, we're able to do so much together. A rising tide really does raise all boats. But when we have eliminated the debt here on this complex, or let, let's say we don't even eliminate all of it. Let's say we leave some of the debt on there, but let's say we've paid it down by $500,000. Could we not take that and go buy us now a, a 50 or a 100 unit complex? Could we not continue to leverage more and more debt? Look folks, what I'm trying to do is help open up your mind to the possibilities of what happens when we mix business credit with velocity banking, mm. with real estate investing, mm. what can be done? It has transformed my life. I've been able to share some of these very simple concepts. Now, it, they're complex sometimes in the structures that they take. I mean, this isn't simple, but here's the thing that's important. I've shared stuff like this with C.J. Wallace. I mean, I knew this guy when he was just coming out of the military, and he was like, well, what do I do next? Well, here, take a look at this. And I just sharing velocity banking with CJ Wallace. I mean, I shared with him a simple concept and look at what he's done with it. How he's helped transform so many people's lives. That's what we do, okay? That's what you can do. And when you're in something like this, well, yeah, we're making money and we're doing well and we're very blessed by God to have this opportunity to really help people. But we do this also with giving back in mind. That's why we're here on this YouTube channel. We want to help you out. There's so many of you today who are sitting on the fence thinking, yeah, I want to do that. You know, I really want to get, I want to maybe. So this is your time. And so I'm showing you how to do this, how to, how to find money. Where do you get the money? Self-directed IRAs, right? That's money to acquire properties. Well, you need more money. Well, let's get you into business credit. There's so many great things. Now, my time is done, but if there's anything that I could let you part, uh, a, a thought that I want you to part with is if you have a dream and investing is it, or maybe you're not even a real estate investor, but you've got some other business and you need business credit or velocity banking to help you accomplish that dream, I want to encourage you to go out there and do it. Make yourself a priority. Take Take a chance on yourself. Bank on yourself. Invest in yourself. Because when you do, you will earn dividends that not only transform your life, but think about the other lives. Think about in the future 
when they say, oh, I'm so grateful that grandfather or great-grandfather got into this and set up that living trust and has all those all those uh, apartments that he owns, right? <laughs> because this has enabled us to do whatever God, you know, whatever God put them on. The, this allowed them to be an artist or allowed them to go after their, their culinary art desire, whatever it is. But they can look back. They can thank God, and they can thank God for how he worked in your life. If you have a dream, I want you to go out and do it. Now, which uh, entrepreneur is coming up next? Awesome, awesome. You know what, Joseph? That's... <laughs> You're hey! Amazing, You're amazing. CJ, thank you so much. For... Birthday boy! Happy birthday, man. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hey, awesome. love, love and YouTube, yes. listen to this guy. He is changing lives. I love what this guy's done. Nice. You are the man. Hey, man, you're the man. Thank you so much. Look, I wanted to put a special shout out for this young man that I was talking to this weekend, this past weekend. His name is Dwayne. Dwayne is so determined to succeed. He put his music business to the side, y'all, just to focus on generational wealth, just to focus on generating that generational wealth, wealth that gets passed on from him to his kids, to his grandkids, and on and on. And he mentions something about, hey, I want this to not only end with me or my kids, I want it to go on perpetually. So Dwayne, big shout out, man. Anais, huge shout out. She's doing amazing things with her marketing company. She's just blowing it up. I just wanted to show you some love right then and there. Ray is going to be coming up in just a few. Listen, <clears throat> I want you to do something now, and I'm going to do something I've never done before. CreditWiz at InvestorPro.org. I'm going to go ahead and talk to you live while I'm uh, here, okay, while we are filming. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead, if you'd like to, all right, you can go ahead and contact me then. We can go ahead and call you up live, okay? CreditWiz at InvestorPro.org. Now I just want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. Why ask for $20, right, when you can ask for $20,000? Look at this. <laughs> it's right there. Somebody said, I want the book. Look, take a picture of this, pause this, memorize this, and maybe you can do more than the $14.19 a month. Okay, Maybe you can do more than that. Maybe in your area, you're looking at it right now and you're saying, man, I've got a couple people who have a retirement account, who have an IRA, who have a substantial amount within their retirement accounts. CJ, I just don't know how to talk to them. Bring me on the phone. All right? Bring me on the phone. You have a resource. All right? CreditWiz at InvestorPro.org. Folks, I know you don't know. At one time, I didn't know. I asked. Now I know. You ask. Then you'll know. Does that make sense? Absolutely. <laughs> Folks, I am so excited to bring up Fleming, who is another serial entrepreneur who did the $21,000 in profits today, did an awesome birthday present for our boy Joseph Smith. I tell you what, Ray Fleming, thank you so much for what you're doing for this audience, your audience, for me, for my business, for your business. You're just an amazing man, and I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you, CJ. Oh, I love it, man. All right. How is everybody doing? Woo! Perfect. Okay. Let's make sure we're centered here. This is a fantastic work of art for what <laughs> Joseph just went through. But you may be nervous about some of these areas here. That is okay. But what we want to quickly touch on is how this expands even further. When we were pitching our investors, it was very important. And we gave them just a general outline on how this could play out. With just the economy continuing to rise, we do not hope, well, it's an unfortunate event when the economy takes a downturn, but we have positioned ourselves to know how to take advantage of that when it happens. It, we're not causing it to crash, but you can be on either side of the coin. Do you want to be falling down or do you want to understand how to rise up? It's simply your choice. <clears throat> So in a 
just a simple way to continue the leverage. It starts with acquiring five properties. Five properties. So we have a triplex and a duplex. But they're free and clear in the fact that we are creating an asset, collateral, and credits. The trifecta, what we like to call where we have access to more money. That is the key to this. Now, this is a long-term strategy. Now, if anybody has ever seen kind of uh, like a hockey stick, uh, I'm gonna imagine a hockey stick. That's really how this is gonna be, a hockey stick laying sideways. The massive growth is really gonna take place in the last three years. That's really how it is. It's a very slow start, but then it really starts to hit that exponential growth. That's, that's what we're talking about. So in the beginning, the first two years, we may just have five, and that's okay, because what we're doing is we're developing these companies, we're gonna start more LLCs, get the credit rolling, and have those being prepared. See, the other LLCs, we're gonna be starting very quickly here, that we're gonna be using three years from now. This is very important to start a track record of cash flow and collateral. So when we start dropping larger properties into existing companies, this is a huge game changer. Nobody's thinking about this. Now, so we're talking year two. We're two years in. At this point, that is when we start to branch off and leverage. We will take the, let's see, we're using the tri, or let's start with the, let's start with the duplex. That's the smaller of the two. At that point, we could pull about $150,000 out of that property. That, in turn, can result in a 20% down payment towards a 60-unit property. So, <clears throat> let me see here. So, this one here, in about, uh, let's see, in year, in year three to four, we will leverage that to go and grab 60 more units. 60 more units. And then, here, let's see here. I might just, can you, can you, can everybody see that? Yeah. Okay. So three and four years, we're going to take this tri, or actually, sorry. The, uh, let's see here. The duplex. Three to four years. We're going to leverage that to go get 60 more doors. So this is going to be a little bit larger complexes, but basically one larger 60 unit property, putting a 20% down payment. That complex about a $1.5 million price. On the triplex, in the same time frame, three to four years from now, we will be expanding that we can pull about $200,000 out of equity, and that is equivalent to getting $2 million worth of properties. So that's about 80 doors. 80 doors that we will be able to leverage that out to in the next three to four years. At this point, what we do is we continue to build the track record, we develop those properties, and then- We're using Velocity Banking. Using Velocity Banking, chucking down, getting some equity there, and then starting year, Let's see, so now we're in uh, three to four. Now we're going five to six. Or, yeah, five to six and five to six down here. So we're talking five years down the line. This, is, this isn't something that happens overnight. This is a continuous growth process. What we do is we paid it down and we will now leverage again. Leverage again, and this time and we'll be able to take the duplex to another $2 million property, which will have 100 units. And then we will be able to expand this into two more other units at $5 million, which is equivalent to 100, or actually we will be able to, with that 5 million, we will be able to access 250 more units. 250 more units. Now, the same thing, develop these, velocity banking, working on developing the cash flow, the pay down, the, uh, the development of the properties itself. Now we're talking seven to eight years down the line. So seven to eight years. This is a long term, like we said, seven to eight years down the line, we're now going to be able to leverage this about $10 million, $10 million in year seven to eight 
which is equivalent to about 500, <clears throat> 500 units. And same with this one, we'll be able to leverage that to about $4 million, which is about 200 units. And then moving in to year nine and 10, nine and 10. So we're talking 10 years from now. At this point, year nine and 10, we now have a leverageability of almost $20 million in this, which would equate to about a thousand more units. At 20 million, we can find about a thousand more units. And with this track running at about $8 million of leverage, we can get another 400. <clears throat> now, now, these aren't just apartments. What, what all, when you say units, give us a variety. This could be apartments. This could be, um, this could be storage units. This could be, um, this could be mobile, uh, park. mobile home parks. This could be all sorts of different things. The key at this point, when we get to 10, we have access to, um, at this point, it will be somewhere around over 2,000 units of some type. Now, the goal was to get a million dollars a month of revenue. At that a thousand point, doors free and clear. Thousand doors free and clear, million dollars a month of net income. Or actually, yeah, yeah, that's where we're that's our goal. So at this point, if we have two thousand one hundred and twenty-three doors expanding every two years and leveraging twenty percent to acquire more. In 10 years, we would be able to have access to that many units. Now, there's several things that could be done. At 80% occupancy with an average cash flow of $469, that's it. $469 at this many units, that's a million dollar gross a month. That's, that's pretty wild. Now, at this point, what we could do is simply sell off half the units. We could sell off, um, we could sell off yeah, uh, 1,665 of these. You know, if we sell off that many and use those funds to pay off the rest, then we now own a thousand of these free and clear. Or we can simply just keep the process rolling. It'll be something that's basically voted on. If we reach this point, I guarantee you they won't want us to stop. That's simply what it is. We'll just keep expanding on towards 5,000. But what they, this is not exactly this ideal situation, but we do a lot of creative acquisitions. We will buy distressed properties and rehab those. There's a lot of different ways to actually reach this and accelerate it. But for our investors, they needed to have some type of visual way to grasp this. Now we put this into a nice PowerPoint and we show them a timeline and clearly explain it so they understand what it is we're actually shooting for. And that's the other thing too, is a lot of us, you gotta understand when you want to create something large, you need to have the long vision plan. So you gotta have a plan. We have a 10 year plan on this and, and our investors knew exactly what our 10 year plan was before they even put a dollar on the table. So that is one of the major keys to your success and to raising funds is to having a clear plan on how your investor is gonna get their money back and what happens in all situations? You need to be able to understand that in moving forward. Now, we didn't just necessarily learn all this overnight. We've, ex we've uh, spent a significant amount of time developing our knowledge and our information base. So we, have, we had actually partnered up with a real estate investment um, I guess there's, there's all different ways you can get knowledge. So we had gathered that knowledge through taking classes. That's really, I mean, how would you do any other career? Say you wanted to be a nurse. Say you wanted to be a lawyer. Say you wanted to be a doctor. Say you wanted to just be a, a physician assistant or maybe a, a medical billing technician or anything. You would need to go to school and get some knowledge. That's exactly what real estate investing is also. It's, it's no different than any other profession. And so getting the right knowledge, this is hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars that you're dealing with. A financial advisor would need licensing and school and all that stuff. Yet so many people do not educate themselves and go out there and try to play with huge amounts of money, retirement accounts without understanding and learning the hard way. So I'm going to talk a little bit about something here tonight that is 
absolutely beneficial for your success. Understanding self-directed accounts. You know, when, when these accounts, to self-direct these accounts and to properly move them into a company and to understand the prohibited transactions, that's very, very important to understand. Velocity banking, what CJ talks about, is, is a very important thing to understand. Not only the basics and the foundations, but how do you expand and rooms with credit lines and how do you do all that? Specific situations, that's tricky. It's something that takes time and it was not learned overnight. This was a lot of knowledge that was, or was gathered from other very successful investors. Uh, and what else do we have? Taxes and the legal aspect of all of this. Taxes, the legal structures, so setting up entities, making sure things are paid, protection. That's a huge part of this. What about credit management? Because does your personal credit matter in this? We don't use our, a lot of our personal credit, but I'll tell you what. It plays a huge role in how you run your business. What if you need a merchant account? What if, what if, what if you need a... Um, there's so many different things that your personal credit can come into play. Our, our investors, our investors need, need help with their personal credit. Mm -hmm. Investors yeah. need help with their personal credit. Our, our personal lives need good credit. There's so many different things. When you're self-employed, having access to a good professional or uh, having access to a good personal credit score is going to skyrocket your life because trying to get things in your personal life without having good credit is very, very difficult. So when you go out and make all this money, you need to be able to play both sides of the game. That's really what it is. Creative acquisition. So as we go and expand for these th thousands of properties, it would be beneficial to understand if there's ways to get these at a deep discount or maybe with no money out of pocket. Currently, in the next 10 years, the amount of people, we're somewhere around 47 million people are over the age of 65. In the next 10 years, that is supposed to double to almost 98 million people. Do you think that some people are going to start retiring who own all of these apartment complexes? They want to get out of the game and somebody needs to be there to take it up. Are you going to leave it to China or are you going to take it on your... I'm, I, hey, there's a lot of foreign investors coming and buying everything up. Mm -hmm. You know, this is... This Canada. Is a, this is, yeah. Hey, if you're watching <laughs> from true. overseas, I mean, Canada, I mean, that's where true. our office is located, we have an office in a very large complex. That's owned by a, a Canadian company. It's, it is, it's not only a battle that we have here at home, but we have... We, we need to make sure that we are holding on to our piece of our land. Mm -hmm. So that is very important for you to understand that you were born in the greatest country in the world, and mm -hmm. everybody wants to come here. Everybody, everybody wants everybody. to come here. It's a reason that people want to come here, and they fight very hard to get here. You were born with the gift, and I know you're not taking advantage of it because you're on this, you're on this right now, yes. and I applaud you for that. But that's the great thing is you're here, and millions of people are not. So okay. you have the choice to use it to your advantage so you can protect your family and your loved ones. So circle uh, taxes, everywhere it says taxes, so, circle man, the velocity banking. Taxes, you know, velocity yeah. banking, so much of this stuff, this, you know, insurance, maintenance, um, how to legally structure these things, your personal, you know, structuring, partnerships, all of these things. All these things were not just like practice. These weren't just like done overnight. We spent a lot of time learning about these things. Here, let me uh, let me show you something here. So I'm gonna just have you turn it around there. Oh, here we go. I might just take it off of this. Here, here we go. I'm gonna switch this out. I'm gonna switch this out for a minute. Let's see, how do we switch this camera around? I don't know how technology Perfect. works. Okay, so we froze there for a second. All right, CJ, when can we start? We They want to know when to start. I mean, email CJ tonight. Yeah. Let's get you started. Let's, start Let's get you started. You're, you already started, so how do you continue? You've already started. Let's just continue it. Let's just continue it. Those that are ready to go tonight, I'm available.
If you just want to talk, you can go ahead and make an appointment. Absolutely. As business owners, we got to make the decision, man. Is this what we want to do or not? It's decision time. You know what I mean? Let's do it. All right? All right, y'all. Watch this. Okay. This is so right this, is, this is some stuff that we got going on for you. So a self-directed IRA class that is five hours long, 35 segments, a velocity thinking course for you, six hours long, 37 segments. Now you're going to get a pre-test and a post-test, also weekly group coaching with this. Tax and legal day one, we got eight hours, 36 segments, and then tax and legal, how to structure LLCs, how to take advantage of all the taxing, protection, your family, everything, trusts. Another five hours and 34 segments here. So, I mean, we're talking, that's, that's what, uh, 13 hours of tax and legal information. Credit management, how to manage and build and grow your own credit. Six and a half hours, 31 segments long. Creative acquisitions, this is seven hours, 36 segments. This is gonna be 10 different ways to strategically buy properties without using any of your own money or credit. Real estate foundations, all the basics, every single thing you need to know, which you would learn really going to a uh, realtor school, something like that, but then more expanding on that. 39 different segments of learning. Real estate marketing, how to market two properties, four properties, where to get them, different ways. 32 segments, do you think that will help? What about the red flags? This was huge. Seven hours of the pitfalls, the things that can make you go under. 45 different segments in that class and also deal a decade going through probate. You know, when a, when a landlord has evictions and somebody unfortunately passes away, Divorce. it gets tied up in there. Divorce, all these things. How to get it out of there. 31 segments long. You can get started for only $2,000. Only $2,000. And guess what? There is no charge for any updates. You will always have access to updates. When tax and legal changes, you're going to get that update. You're going to get that update every single year when the tax laws change. Um, lifetime access. So as long as we have the website up and we got the classes rolling, you're going to have access to this. And lifetime group coaching, as long as you're not doing anything unethical, you're not taking this information, because this has been a lot of hard work that has been put in. These are industry professionals. This is not necessarily me. This is, this is our national expert tax attorney who is going to teach you this. Our, you know, our self-directed IRA attorney, who is the guy that shows up on CNN when something happens with retirement accounts, he teaches this class. Every single person is the leading industry professional that is teaching that. And every single week, group coaching online for an hour, you can answer all your questions. That's a private lock some group that you can't get anywhere else. And imagine if you, in a year from now, when you are working on a deal and you want to mastermind with a national group of like-minded individuals, you have access to that. And you can get started for only $2,000. Guess what? Email creditwiz and investorpro.org. You could go to wiseguysandties.com, the business credit experts, and schedule a consultation. We can help you in both realms. Call 888-524-9273. And guess what? That's just getting you started. So you're like, hey, I want to get started in building my business credit. I don't know how to even set up my business, my legal structure. What do I need? But it doesn't stop there. Because then if you want to expand further, we'll teach you about lease options with nine classes. We'll teach you about fix and flips with 11 classes. And like I said, these are not short classes. These are, you know, four, five, six, seven hour long classes. And you get 11 of them to learn how to be successful in fix and flip. What about short sales? Seven classes to understand short sales. Seven classes for multifamily. Notes and liens, the paper side of real estate, commercial, and then bonuses, you know, small business payroll. We're talking about wealth acceleration. How do you, what type of, what type of, um, what type of insurance should you have for, on your vehicle when you have Good rental question. properties? Should your rentals be in multiple LLCs? All these questions. And we will continue to help you. And you get to really start working with uh, title, you know, on their title and escrow. And I know CJ's got a fantastic deal for you guys because a lot of you have been really interested in our business credit program. And so CJ, 
People that are interested in the business pr credit program, how much is that? The business credit program? Oh, man. Like, the what is the normal program? price? For... Well, look, look. The business credit builder uh, right now, this right. year, 2019, is going to be $2,997. And that's hey. the business credit builder. Will you, will you label that? That's the, that's the business credit builder. And that's where you get the $50,000 in the next 6 to 12 for your business? Absolutely. Now, this is a hugely, hugely discounted price, okay, for what you get. Because you're going to put, you're going to place 3000 in, right? And in 6 to 12 months, you're going to get $50,000 in business lines of credit. No IRA or 401k can do that. They just can't. That's an investment that's guaranteed, okay? 6 to 12 months. Fifty thousand dollars, right? In your business credit builder. Great question, Ray. Now and then, if they wanted to get into these classes, you know, starting with right, the real estate the, classes, the ten the classes program. there, starting with ten classes where, where they learn all the basics to get started in real estate investing, Absolutely. that's two thousand dollars. That's a phenomenal deal. Yeah. Because so that's going to be did you two thousand dollars? And how did you learn about everything? Or did you take these classes? Yeah, I, I actually took the classes. Listen, folks, if you want to know how I learned about the velocity banking method and everything I'm teaching, it was these classes. All right. They're set to empower you. Each class, tax and legal, day one and two. Deal of the decade. Can I ask you a question? Did you know that the deal of the decade comes along about once every week? Right. And so learning these things it will empower you to multiply this 10, 20, 30 times over. And that's, as a business owner, that's how you have to think. You don't just think, you don't just look at the price. What you're looking at is what? What are you looking at? You're looking at value. What is this going to make me? Every time you spend a, a dollar. So return on investment. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I was going to say it when Joey was up here. I was going to say, you know, what is the return on the investment? When you didn't bring any money to the table, what percentage is it? Infinity. All right? Absolutely. So education is where he learned that, learned to do that from. Okay? It's where we learned to do that. So well, every, Everybody pays for their education, right? Didn't we make that? <laughs> That's an excellent point. Did you hear what he said? He said everyone pays for their education, okay, whether you get it or not. Okay? You're either going to pay... Just the money. What is two thousand dollars? What What did you spend two thousand dollars on last year? Hey, maybe some Hershey Kisses, maybe some chocolate. <laughs> All right, maybe maybe your car. I I don't know. That's a whole lot of But what s'mores. did it bring you? Right. <laughs> what was your return on investment with that three thousand dollars that you spent last year? What was the return? Mm. Here we give you a return. Okay, because when you know better, you then have the opportunity to do what? Do better. Absolutely. Well, and because like, we're so fired up about that. Go ahead. No, I was talking about like you, you pay for your education. We had a situation one time where somebody didn't know about uh, HOA transfer fees. That was an expensive education. Oh. <laughs> it's an expensive education, folks. But you see, had we known, right? Had we known about that, you would then be able to weave in and out of those obstacles that you face. All right. And because we're so fired up about you guys getting educated, okay? Yes, the business credit builder is $2,997. Yes, the real estate classes, that's $2,000, folks. Now, it's not just real estate. It's more business, entrepreneurs type stuff. Oh, velocity, yes. banking, self-directed IRA. Right, right. People that work with us know that there's more than just the business credit, okay? We know a lot of elements that goes into business ownership, and so we can share that. We do share that with our clients, all right? So $2,900, how many of you would jump on board right now if I said that I'm going to give you the real estate investing classes and the business credit builder for just that one price of $2,997? 
Woo! What? Yeah. And we'll wave, right? We will wave if you jump in tonight. We will wave this two thousand dollars on the real estate investing side. What? Now that's already an awesome deal, right? For the two thousand nine hundred ninety-seven dollars for the business credit builder and the two thousand dollars for the real estate investing class, it's already a smoking deal, okay? Because what you're doing is you're doing what? You're learning from those who have had at least, what is it a million dollars? Have made a million dollars within the past three years in their industry. So the guy who's teaching self-directed IRA, he made a million dollars within it. The guy who's teaching velocity banking, it's a million dollars folks. Tax and legal day one and two, that guy's making well over a million dollars, right? Credit management, these guys are putting cash in people's pockets by what they're teaching, okay? They've put cash flow in my pockets by what they've taught, all right? And we just want to extend that opportunity to you. Now, we've paid much more <laughs> than that, than what you're paying, all right? And folks, I wouldn't trade a single moment and a single dime. I do it all over again because of what I know and what I have, and when I'm stuck in a situation, I know how to get out of it. I'm, I'm there in the jungle, right? Because many of you have been there. You've been in the jungle, surrounded by man-eating beasts, all right? And all of a sudden, you walk out with a leopard skin suit. Mike Charles asked, is this a CD or just online? Just on, oh, hey, this, these are online classes. The online platform of the Business Credit Builder, and it's online classes. Okay. But they can be taken live. Yeah, they can and streamed live. They can definitely be taken live and streamed live as well. Good but, question. But to be able to offer it at this price, it must mean that you're really not trying to make a profit off of your YouTube channel. No. You're like just trying to give it to them at cost. You know what? As those have stated that they have paid off their homes in a year, uh, their credit scores have jumped hundreds of points. Folks, that's my payment. That's my payment. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm, listen, this one right here, it's not about me. It's not about me. This is about you. When you're faced with an opportunity like this, what are you going to do? When you're faced, right, with someone that you know is trustworthy, when you're with, faced with someone that you know that you can do business with, when you're faced with that, it's all about what are you going to do? All right, so it's not about us. This price right here is not going to last long, okay? It's going to go for the doers. This is for the doers, all right? $2,997 for both the business credit builder and the real estate investing classes. Why don't you write up uh, your website and, uh, and uh, your email, I mean, and the phone number that somebody can call? Absolutely. Credit Wiz at investorpro.com. Or is it org? No, dot org. Oh, is it? Oh, it is dot org. You guys know better than me. Thank you so much. <laughs> dot One day. org. Now, now. Uh, what number can somebody call? There we go. What does it take to meet you in person? Hey, hey. Mike Charles, where are you? Where are you located? Where are you located there? Huh? Where are you located, Mike Charles? Mike what state are you in? I think he's in Kansas, aren't you, guy? Well, stay tuned for the uh, CJ Wallace World Tour coming <laughs> to a major Wait, city near you. 888-524-9273. If you want to take advantage of this deal right now, I will answer the phone for you only, only, right, if you're taking advantage of the deal right now. Okay. Well, so are you, they got to leave a message and you call them right back? Yes. 888-524-9273. If you're contacting me on my email, go ahead and do that right now. CreditWiz at InvestorPro.org. We will get you connected today with the Business Credit Builder, and we will get you connected with the Real Estate Investment as well. Okay. Mike Charles, uh, he's in San Antonio. San Antonio, man, that's not too far away. That's really nice. Hey, uh, Not too see, far away at all. See, I love San Antonio. This Riverwalk. Is, if you're going to put this out recorded later and somebody's not listening to it live right now today, 
Can they take advantage of that later? Can they take advantage of this price later? I don't know. It's on a case-by-case <laughs> -case basis. Credit Wiz at InvestorPro.org. Listen, folks, we pay for hesitation, don't we? I, I want to I wanna, I wanna say something, okay? The law of diminishing intent. How many of you know what that is? The law of diminishing intent. Oh, man, this is very powerful. Look. The law of diminishing intent says the longer you wait to do something, the more likely you'll be not to do it. You're already a victim of that, aren't you? Let 2019 be different. I know that I believe in you. Now it's your turn. All right. I believe in you. I believe in your family. I believe in your business. I believe that you're determined. I believe that you can find the money and then you're not going to let money. OK, it's just money. Don't let money stand in the way of your dreams. Well, CJ, let me tell you, like, so when I started um, and I'm sitting there and I was hearing this, I'm like, yeah, that's great. And all I could be wealthy and I could be successful. But I was riding my bike, hopping the bus and I was broke. And I said, OK, I just need a car. I need some money. And then how am I supposed to educate myself and pay all this money when I'm feeling like there's a shortage of money? Right. How, how, do I, how, do, how do I get by that? Folks, there is no shortage of money. Just a shortage of people who will do whatever it takes to get it and make their dreams come true. Will you help somebody find the money? Will I help somebody find the money? Absolutely. If you're having trouble finding the money, I can show you the money. I show you money. All my videos are about showing you how to get the money. Absolutely. So I can I can show you how to get the money. Perfect. Perfect question. Yes. yes. And if you got any questions, man, credit whiz at investorpro.org. If you want to hop on right now, listen, I'm looking forward to somebody hopping on right now. And we can actually give you a shout out live on the air. 888-524-9278. Seven three. Go ahead, comment. Say I want in. All right. You can say I want in to my email. You can say I want in on those comments. You can say I want in on that number, and we will make sure that we get you in. All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. So go ahead. Go ahead and and do that. What if I already bought the business credit builder? All right. Sir. Yes. Yes. Hey. So if, you, if you've already bought the business credit builder. Then guess what's next? What do you want to do? What is it that you want to do? Are you looking to get into the classes? If you have the business credit builder, you can use that to pay for your classes. Yeah. That's, that's I think we can problem. definitely, uh, already, Caesar, let's get on a call. Up. And, uh, yes. Get on a call and figure that out. Yeah, let's work out, absolutely. Work out a deal. And of course, this will be on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but think about this. You can just go ahead and leverage the business credit <laughs> that you're building, right, to get the classes. So what is it all about? It's all about making sure that you don't feel any purchases, okay, that you don't feel those purchases that before you felt and you were like, oh, man, but since it's coming out of your cash flow, right, it's not going credit. to. Yeah, and you can grow your business as well, you grow your business credit as well, so. Just letting you know about that. And don't forget, folks, what did I forget about all this? What did I forget to mention? Is someone going to say it? I usually do this. I, I usually mention what these prices are. What are they? Tax write-offs. Now, how can I say that? Because they're for your business, you business owners. See those business owners? I'm telling you, they get all the tax write-offs. And, All right. And when you talk about it in terms of velocity banking, what does it really cost? Mm, mm, mm. Does it really cost 3000 bucks? Now, remember, we're on a different economy as velocity bankingists, right? <laughs> <laughs> as veloc velocity banking evangelists, we are on a different economy. Because this price right here, the $2,997, it's not really that price, remember? Absolutely, it's not really that price because you're using like using your line of credit to leverage. And as you get paid, you're paying that line of credit down. And the lenders are so happy because now they have someone who pays their lines of credit off. And now guess what? They want to give you even more credit. And that's how it goes. 
Mike Charles says he guess he needs to start a business first. Start a business first, huh? That's what we help you do. <laughs> Mike Charles, you're awesome, man. Start working with us so you do it the right way. Mike Charles, let, tell me what the business credit builder does. So what the business credit builder does, we actually assist the folks in that. We have registration forms, all right, that will help you with your LLC or the business that you want to set up. And not only that, not only that, I actually schedule and I'm in charge of scheduling a free consultation with Mark Kohler, all right? So then, and that's our star, our superstar real estate attorney, CPA. And uh, boy, it's, it's just an amazing package deal that you get with uh, what you're investing at the, the $29.97. So man, hop on that. Hop so step-by-step, step, how to start and grow your business? Step-by-step. Step. If you have any questions, <clears throat> go ahead. CreditWiz and InvestorPro.org and 888 Five two four nine two seven three. That's the number for the business credit. So just let me know, okay? Let Perfect. me know. Cool. All right. Well, folks, listen. If that's it, I just want to let you know I'm gonna have a good night. I know you're gonna have a good night, and I'm looking forward, man. <laughs> I'm looking forward to all your calls, the emails, and they're looking forward to your calls. All right, and we just want to wish you a good night and God bless.